Hi everyone, Mike Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about light and color spaces. And what's the value of light? We were talking in the last lesson of quality, starting with the settings in your camera, and then the picture comes out and how we work it and make it correct and improve it in Photoshop. But what did you take a picture of? You took a picture of a scene or a person or something that is all light. And in photography, light is everything. The quality level, the intensity level, the color of the light, the way light works on a subject is of vital importance. And especially with Photoshop, we want to get the correct light. So it's valuable to understand what light is. Color spaces are ranges of color. And there are different color spaces in Photoshop that we can and our camera for that matter, that we can work in. So it's valuable for me to explain what those are. Once you understand these, it will help you as we move into Photoshop. So let's go to it. A simple lesson in light and color. What is light? Technically, it's electromagnetic radiation that our eyes can interpret, and that's called vision. We perceive light as a range of brightness and color. Brightness being the intensity of the light, and let me give you an example of how that works. Bright sunny day, noon, stop sign, very brilliant red. Clouds move in. It's still red, but it's a different shade of red. It's a little darker and a different shade of red. It's still that same red. It's just gotten darker because the intensity level of the light went down when the clouds covered the sun. Same thing as the sun goes down in the afternoon. As it begins to angle through the atmosphere, it gets a little darker. The color of the light, which is what we're going to talk about in a moment, changes because now the light goes through a lot more of the atmosphere and the particles inside of the atmosphere bounce around the rays of light and change the wavelengths. So brightness, exposure, by the way, in, in the world of Photoshop, exposure affects color. Color does not affect exposure. Color is the temperature of the light, the actual color temperature of the photons. That's what creates the entire spectrum of color. An example of this is when you look up at night, on a clear night, you see the stars, you see white, blue, yellow, red stars. What you're seeing is higher temperatures or lower temperatures of light. The higher temperature stars are more bluish. The lower temperature stars are more reddish. And everything in between creates the spectrum. So the two features of light are brightness and color. 